So much history here. Full blood. This oasis in the yeah. middle of Eka. It's unbelievable. <laughs> what a monkey can do. It looks like something out of the Middle East or Egypt. Buenos dias. As you know, yesterday we were just at Paracas National Reserve, and now we drove a little less than an hour and a half here to Ica, Peru. And what a lot of people don't know is that about a 20 to 30 minute drive north of Ica is the oldest winery and vineyard I, in all of South America, which I is here no in Peru. I had no idea. Yeah, I would have thought Chile or Argentina, so super surprised by that. So we're here at Tacama Vineyards. We're about to go on this kind of immersive wine tasting and tour of the facility, of the winemaking process. And then later, we will actually be going to Juanachina, this other part just outside of Ica, uh, known for this little kind of town built surrounded by sand dunes, yeah. which we're super excited for. Just looks already ridiculously beautiful here. Just driving in, we're so excited right. to go on this tour. So let's go. We just finished our first part of the tour. That was oh. super insightful. It was like a, it was like a professional kind of Class. college course. Yeah, yeah, really. So we learned like how to sample wines and oh my yeah. gosh, so much information. We've been, we've been to a few <laughs> yeah. wine tastings, but we've never learned this much and all of these. Yeah, details. so it was amazing. Couldn't share everything, obviously. And now we're continuing more of the actual tour of the facility, which we're on our way. So let's go. So something you'll notice walking around Takama, aside the fact that it's just this beautiful estate, and we just learned this, you see all this pink color? This originally was made from three ingredients. Number one was this flower literally right here, mixed with grape skins and bull blood. Now this is all repainted because the other one's faded, but that's how the original pink came from. It's the same color. How freaking cool is that? So we're up here on the vineyard tower. And what's really cool is you see this right over here, this mountain range. This is the beginning of the Andes Mountains right over here. You can kind of see it's a little bit hazy, but over there, that's actually where we're going later. This is definitely one of the absolute most beautiful vineyards we've ever been on by far. This is amazing. We have finished our tour, and oh my gosh, that was one of the best wine tours that we've ever been Personally, to. Personally, sure. it was my favorite wine tour. We've gone on quite a few, and yeah, this was awesome. I oh really love this. So complete. I've never yes. learned so much about wine before, and there's so much history here. It was yeah, founded in? The 1500s, the, I mean 1540s. What I thought re was really interesting is that they have experimented with over 100 different types of grapes here. Yeah. Very, in a way, like just well thought out, yes. everything. The property is beautiful and well maintained. Like this oasis in the yes. middle of Ica, which is really nice. Yeah. Totally worth it. The Definitely. price yeah. was 70 solis per person. So that's about $20 per person. Yeah. And they do have a different kinds of tours. So we did the grand tour with tasting. So just so you know, when you're booking, then there's all these different. Oh, and. What I just remembered, okay, so uh, we booked like, I think like about a month in advance. Oh, or, yeah. And I went on the website and I was like, oh, for Saturday, is there any availability? For Tuesday, is there any availability? And on the website, it was saying no availability, but we you messaged them out. on WhatsApp. Yeah, and they said they had plenty. Plen which, <laughs> obviously, it's in a kind of off season, but you can kind of see it's not dead, it's lively, it's nice, but definitely quiet. Not nearly as many people as I expected, yes. so it definitely wasn't fully booked. Yeah, but the website said so. Yeah, yeah and we so got really lucky because there was only us on our tour. They yes. offer tours in both English and Spanish, and we did the English tour, and there was no one else at 10 a.m. Yeah, and that's what the guy said at the beginning of our tasting is that most uh, Peruvians who come here start at like 12 p.m., 1 p.m. So we got started at 10 a.m. and seemed to beat a lot of the crowds. Uh, it was a little bit cooler as well, it starts to heat up throughout the day, especially if you're coming in the summer. Yeah. So it was just 
Oh, yeah. yeah. This so, is great. <laughs> so, and we're not amazing. affiliated with them. Just totally, letting you know. <laughs> yeah, totally worth it. And now we're here at their restaurant, and we're so excited. Oh my gosh, the food looks amazing. Yeah, and the reason that we're here at the restaurant is because yesterday in Ica, when we were looking for some different kind of places to eat, found the options a bit limiting in our opinion. Yes. Cusco, Peru, amazing food. Lima, Peru, amazing food. Came down to Ica. Not a lot of options in our experience. So we just decided to try here, which I'm sure it's gonna be great I'm given excited. everything else. So we try to order a few Peruvian classics. And for starters, we have this aji de galinha, uh, which is basically sort of this egg roll. And inside you can kind of see is this chicken with cream and served with guacamole. For the main course, we have a lomo saltado. Uh, this is a very typical Peruvian dish as well, as you can see from our little sort of Peruvian flag which is some sort of meat, and in this case we have beef with peppers and onion, potatoes and rice, and then of course some kind of sauce underneath that kind of goes with everything. We've had it before and it's amazing. Here accompanying we have some local style flatbread, I think like Inca flatbread, with something else that's very common here in Peru, which is garlic aioli, which I love and I put on everything. And then to drink, Ali has some passion fruit juice, I ordered chicha morada, which is actually not a juice. It's made from this blue, like purple type of corn. And of course, come on, we're here um, in a Pisco plantation. So I have a chilcano, which the two most popular drinks in Peru are Pisco Sour, which I've had plenty of. This is my first time trying a chilcano, which apparently is Pisco with ginger, mint, and lime, I think. That's how it was described to me. And of course, some pecan pie. Everything looks so good, so refreshing. We're excited to dive in and get to our next destination. So let's eat. now in the small oasis town of Huachina, which is surrounded by sand dunes. And we're about to meet up our small group to go on a sand buggy kind of tour yeah. and sandboarding kind of up here above the dunes around. And it looks like people are already getting lined up, so let's go. guys just finished phase one of our buggy adventure and it's been crazy it's unbelievable what a buggy can do in terms of how steep it could go down and up and I'll flying be... through like as fast as it possibly can i did not the... expect that at all yeah and now we're here basically at a, like a high point overlooking the Ica area and honestly to me it looks like egypt like these yeah. sand dunes almost make these sort of pyramids it looks like something out of the middle east or egypt it's so beautiful and the sun's beginning to set so it just casts this kind of golden glow on the sand super super beautiful so far and really exhilarating yeah. a little bit windy and we've eaten a little bit of sand yeah. so far but <laughs> already worth it i love it i'm excited at Huacachina where we started. Whew, it was awesome, exhilarating, yes. super fun. I think we had a great group. Yes, we, basically we did. Just went with this group in the buggy all around. Like I said, super steep, up and down, and 
full speed through. It was so much fun. Endless sand dunes just going on for my, it was unbelievable. I, I did not expect that no. at all. Obviously this you know, little town behind us is super cool. Um, actually sandboarding down the dunes, um, stopping multiple times for photos, like the sun setting over the dunes was gorgeous. Yeah. So worth it this day. Definitely. Packed, just. I'm so glad we came here. This is amazing. Way better than Paracas. Yeah. And those of you who watch know what we're talking about. We got this tour through Viator and it was about $25 per person. And you have to get a tour. Like you can't just get a buggy on your own or rent an ATV or anything like that. Exactly. So, but it's totally worth it. Definitely. And all you have to pay when you get here is just a small fee of like four, three solas and 60 cents. Yeah, so like $1 additional yeah. on top of whatever ticket that you go with. And we hope you guys love the adventure today and we loved having you along with us. And if you want to see our other adventures through South America, in Peru, Argentina, Brazil, and all over, be sure to hit that red subscribe button on your screen to not miss out. And if you like to give it a thumbs up, comment with any questions you have, or if you've gone, what was your experience visiting Ica? And if you know of someone considering coming, maybe getting a group together, share this with a friend or family member, because this would be an awesome family or friend trip. Uh, and as always, thanks so much for watching. God bless, and we look forward to having you on the next adventure. Until then, ciao. ciao.